Our next comedian is featured on XM and Sirius Satellite Radio. He's an iTunes favorite. He's a good old hearted revolutionary. Give it up for Tom Simmons. On the box of Pop-Tarts now, they promote their website. Check us out on the web at poptarts.com. What the, when am I ever gonna need that in my life? Somebody torture me with a corkscrew if there's ever a day where like, hey, let's go to the Pop-Tart website. Can find out when the new flavors are coming out. Maybe I can go in the Pop-Tart chat room, talk to some other people who like Pop-Tarts. Spend me a whole weekend. Hello there, my name is Tom. I like pastries with jelly filling in them. I'm like, no, uh me too, smiley face. Maybe we should meet sometime. Yeah, and then you get there, it's just some 14-year-old likes toaster strudels and he's messing with you the whole time. <laughs> Somebody from Dateline NBC comes bursting through a door. Like, what are you doing here? We got you on tape. You're like, ah! I got Pop-Tarts and whiskey and condoms and... <laughs> <laughs> Listen up. If you ever have time in your life to log on to the Pop-Tart chat room, then your usefulness as a human being has expired, all right? There are legitimate, productive people in our culture who can use your organs whoosh, to hand over your pancreas. We need to rebuild Stephen Hawking. <laughs> we do. Have you seen him lately? Holy you guys know who Professor Hawking is, right? He's one of the smartest guys on the damn planet, and all he can move is like his pinky or whatever, you know? Somehow he's still smarter than like all of us combined. He doesn't look good lately, man. I used to pray for wisdom. Then I saw Stephen Hawking. I was like, holy, there's some side effects to that wisdom thing. <laughs> you can hang on to that, Stephen. I'm going to stay over here in Stupidville if you don't mind. I don't know zip about quantum physics or wormholes, but look at that. I can do that anytime I want. But Hawking freaked me out. He said this a few months ago. He said, that's it. He said, human beings have no hope of surviving anymore on this planet because of the fact that we keep embracing war as a solution to our problems and because of global warming. Hawking said, that's it. Human beings' only hope is to figure out a way to colonize outer space and get off the planet. Yeah, that's scary, man. I say we get on that. I got us a plan, too. Here's what we do. All right? We take all the drugs that we're all addicted to, prescription and illegal, and we figure out a way to jettison them to, like, Mars and Saturn somehow, and then we just make a world announcement. We go, okay, everybody, drugs are legal, plentiful, and free up there. <laughs> right? And then we just wait because the damn drug addicts will get us there. <laughs> that is an inventive group when they need their <laughs> We will have a rocket ship made out of an apple and a piece of celery by Tuesday. <laughs> if I put on my turn signal, I'm not asking for your permission, okay? I am coming over. That is a signal of intent. Never do I hate people as much as I do when I'm driving. That is hard. Love your neighbor as thyself. First of all, I don't think my neighbor wants me touching him that way, so I'm not doing that. <laughs> and if you analyze that statement and break it down, that's really part of the problem. The golden rule is the problem, right? Love your neighbor as thyself. We don't love ourselves. We're killing ourselves. We smoke. We drink. We eat ourselves to obesity. We don't give a p about ourselves. Right? I think Jesus had it wrong. And that's my message here tonight. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and Jesus did an interesting thing, too. He turned water into wine, and they said he was God. My Uncle Stan did that in the shed, and they gave him seven to ten. Oh. Yeah, there's no what would Stan do bracelets, I'll tell you that. And love everybody. How am I supposed to love everybody, man? I can't even love my friends and family all the time. I'm supposed to love some crazy guy that shoots a bunch of people in a mall? It happens every couple of months in our country. Somebody loses it at a school, they shoot a bunch of people, then they shoot themselves. They shoot their whole families and they shoot themselves. Why don't these jackasses ever start with themselves? Exactly. <laughs> Eliminate the middle step of the innocent people getting killed. We need to develop like a suicide talk them into it hotline in our country. 1-800-GO-AHEAD <laughs> <laughs> or something. Every time I make fun of people or I make bold declarations about what I'll never do in my life, I notice as I get older that I become those people, right? Any y'all embarrassments to your former selves? I'll tell you, I am right now, man. I'm never getting married. Marriage is for suckers. Right now, I'm damn happily married. Right? You ever catch yourself wearing socks with sandals? That is a 
damn day. You know, oh no, look at that. You know what? That is comfy though. Check that out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go check the mail just this once. <laughs> I am married. Yeah. <laughs> Cell phones? Oh, you're old enough to be like me. Remember making fun of people who had cell phones? I used to mock them all the time in my head. Like, really? You got to be in touch with people at all times, Mr. Self-Important? Right? Now I'm that guy. Talking on my phone at church. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I don't go to church. But yeah, that'll mess up your spiritual connection, or at least mine. But I'm the other way on cell phones now. I think they're the best invention ever, man. My phone is everything. It's my phone. It's my voicemail. It's my clock. Right? I don't even have to worry about daylight savings time anymore. It's automatic in my phone. It's my camera. It's my flashlight sometimes late at night when I need it. It's my memory. I used to have to remember people's phone numbers in my head. Now it's in my phone. If I'm, we're friends and I lose my phone, that's it. We're done. I don't know your number. Yeah, until you call me, relationship over. <laughs> and not only that, you got to call me twice because first time I don't recognize the number. It's straight to voicemail. For more on Tom Simmons... Log on to TomSimmons.net. Right after the break, the Sierra Mist Amateur of the Week. 